Uh, I wanted to ask the panel on both sides. Um, is Israel an apartheid state? Um, your answer, could you... No, sorry, we can't have that. We can't have that as a question. I'm very sorry. So... More than 100 students and faculty descended on the administration offices at Carleton University. They are demanding the president, so, Roseanne Runte, overturn a ban on this poster and explain why it was torn down by security in the first place. Runte refused to debate the issue or take questions. The use of the phrase Israeli Apartheid Week is about as close to hate speech as one can get without being arrested, and I'm not certain it doesn't actually cross that line. What I want to speak about this evening is the background to the Gaza massacre. Uh, I'm not trying to use that language for its incendiary value, but I don't think it can be properly described as a war when the ratio of those killed is 100 to 1 by any, any reasonable standard. Uh, what we witnessed in the past couple of weeks was a massacre or a slaughter. Every time the Zionists act like bullies and they cause this enormous fuss that is completely disproportional to what was going on, a $700 donation, a, a little master's thesis, more and more people are seeing through it, right? And they're seeing this as a false claim of victimization. I think the most worrisome part is what happened in the legislature. Because according to, to various experts who, who really write about academic freedom, this is unprecedented. It's the first time that they can find that a Canadian master's student was criticized by uh, a government body. Speaker, uh, my question is for the uh, Minister of Citizenship and Immigration. Minister, Jewish groups are criticizing the University of Toronto for accepting a shockingly anti-Semitic master's thesis. What are you doing as Minister of Citizenship to stop the rising tide of anti-Semitism? <laughs> Uh, well, Mr. Speaker, I, I deeply appreciate uh, the member opposite for raising this. I, too, was uh, greatly disturbed and, in fact, disgusted when I read the media reports. I have visited the occupied Palestinian territories. Israel will never get true security and safety through oppressing another people. Israel's deterrence capacity its capacity to terrorize the Arab world into submission, it slipped another notch. It was high time to find a defenseless target to annihilate. Enter Gaza, Israel's favorite shooting gallery. Protest to the University of Ottawa. The institution initially approved the poster, but then changed its mind and also banned it.